we want to start our chapel in the name of our triune God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gotta wash, 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 wash those hands a lot. Doodle doot, doodle doot. Gotta wash, 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 wash them on the spot. It is plain to see. No germs on you, no germs on me, because we wash, wash, wash our hands a lot. I notice you've been washing your hands. I see it all the time. I am very proud of you. Keep it up. Well, are your mouths ready to work? Are your mouths ready? Let's get some exercise. I'll uh, move them around. i get them loosened up. Don't want to have anybody with a sprained jaw because we are going to sing a fast song. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And you might think, well, that's not that fast. Wait till you hear the music. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Are you getting it? Down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. We'll do it one more time. Down in my heart to stay. One more time. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in in my heart to stay. All right, now, here's the second verse. Here's the second verse, just in case you forgot it. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Yeah, instead of joy, 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 we gotta go love of Jesus. That's a lot of, a lot of words to fit in there. It's gonna get worse. Here we go. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. Let's do it again. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, down in my my heart to stay. All right, all right. I can tell you have been practicing. You are getting ready. And it's kind of a game. It gets harder to sing as we go along. Here's the hardest. I've got the peace that passes understand. What is that? That's the words. I've got the peace that passes understand. I know you're going to need a speech therapist after this. I've, I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. Aren't you glad you warmed up your jaws? Here we go. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. Let's do it one more time. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart, down in my my heart to stay. Oh, oh, oh. I am getting a sore jaw. Let's try, let's just do all three verses one time and then I'm going to get, I'm going to have to go to the hospital if my jaw gets worse. Let's try it. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, down in 
my heart, down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus, down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. I've got the peace that passes understanding, down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding, down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. Oh boy, all right. You made it through, I think I did too. Well, it's time for a, uh, we're, we're going to a new story. We're going to Jesus and Lazarus. And um, in John chapter 11, verses four through six. When Jesus heard that his friend Lazarus was sick, he said, this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory, so that God's Son may be glorified through it. Jesus loved Martha and his sister and Lazarus, yet when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was two more days. Why do people get sick? That's a tough question. Sometimes I think they get sick or hurt because they're doing something they shouldn't. Have you ever done something you shouldn't and you fell and ow, you got a cut or, or a big bruise and your knee hurt? Yeah, you shouldn't have been standing on a chair pretending you were a giraffe. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Or, or you should have, shouldn't have, you should have been watching where you were running, so you didn't run into the school building and get get a black eye. Yeah, sometimes. But there's a lot of times where we just don't know why people get sick, and and that that's most of the time. Oh yeah, they can catch germs from other people, and we understand that. I mean, if, if somebody is coughing and sneezing at you, at you, at you, because they got a big cold, chances are everybody they're coughing on or sneezing on, they're gonna get that same cold. I understand that, but why is there a cold at all? Why do people get sick at all? And we have to think back to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. That's why people get sick, because they did not listen to God. They ate from the forbidden fruit, and they disobeyed God and, and sin, and all the bad things that, came, that are in the world, they came into the world at that time. But we can't say how somebody you know, why they got sick particularly. But why does God let people get sick? That's the big question. And Jesus answers that today. His friend Lazarus was sick. He was very sick. And Lazarus's sisters, Mary and Martha, they loved Jesus. And they sent word to Jesus that, that the one you love, your good friend Lazarus, he is very, very sick. Please come and help him. And Jesus, Jesus doesn't go right away. He has things to do, and he does them. But he tells his disciples, Lazarus is sick for the glory of God. For the glory of God. God lets people get sick. Just stop and think. What happened when you were sick? Well, your mommy took care of you. Your daddy watched over you. Even your brother and sister, even your big brother was nice to you because you were sick. 
And you could see that they loved you. They cared for you. They were showing God's love. They were showing God's care. That's how God was taking care of you through your mommy, through your daddy, watching over you, making sure you got your rest, making sure you got enough to drink. God was taking care of you, watching out for you, making sure your brother or sister would let you sleep and let you alone and not pester you all the time. Or maybe when you broke a bone, broke an arm, broke a leg, or were so sick you had to go to the hospital, then you saw something else, didn't you? You saw doctors and nurses, and they didn't even know who you were. But did that matter to them? Oh no. They took care of you like you were their own child, like, they were, like you were their son, like you were their daughter, and they just wanted you to get better. God was showing his love through those people. And, and even now, just stop and think, maybe you've got grandpas or grandmas who when you go to visit them, maybe they can't run very fast. Maybe they can't run at all. Maybe they have problems stooping over and picking up stuff from the ground. Or when grandpa gets down on his knees, he goes, ooh, as he tries to get up, and it's hard for him to get up. Well, you can show God's love by saying to grandpa, I'll get that, grandpa. You don't have to get down. I'll get that. Or to pick up some stuff or to go and get something for grandpa and grandma to be special helpers for grandpa and grandma. Yeah. That's what Jesus was talking about. If everybody was healthy, doctors and nurses couldn't show us God's love. They couldn't show us how much they loved us because we wouldn't be in the hospital. If nobody was sick with, with the flu or the cold or an upset stomach, we wouldn't be able to have mommy or daddy take special care for us, even in the middle of the night when we get sick. This is for the glory of God, Jesus says. We're going to find out more about what Jesus was talking about the rest of this week. But let's sing, I am Jesus' little lamb. I am Jesus' little lamb. Ever glad at heart I am, for my shepherd gently guides me, knows my needs and well provides me, loves me every day the same, even calls me by my name, day by day at home away. Jesus is my staff and stay. When I hunger, Jesus feeds me. Into pleasant pastures leads me. When I thirst, he bids me go. Where the quiet waters flow, who's so happy as I am. Even now the shepherd's lamb. And when my short life is ended, By his angel hosts attended, He shall fold me to his breast. There within his arms to rest. Good job, good job. It's time for prayer. So let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes. You think about the words I'm saying. That makes my prayer your prayer. When I say amen, you can say amen. Here we go. Lord Jesus, there's, there's a lot of sick people in the world. And a lot of people who maybe have a lot of aches and pains and can't get around real well. Maybe some of our grandpas. Maybe some of our grandmas. Help us see that that's a chance for us to show them how much we love them 
and how much we love you by taking care of them. Make each one of us helpers all through our life. We ask this for your name's sake. Amen. I want to say goodbye to you the way the Lord wants me to say goodbye to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Listen to the music while, I did, while you get your classes back together again. <laughs>